hey guys welcome back to the dna medical series we're back with another video in the period pool gang and today we'll be talking about period pain menstrual cramps what causes menstrual cramps so before we jump into that we just want to know what menstruation is so menstruation is this normal vaginal bleeding that happens as a part of a woman's monthly cycle where blood comes through the vagina so many women have period pains or painful periods and we call this dysmenorrhagia so the pain is most often called menstrual cramps and it's a throbbing pain it's a cramping pain and it's down in your lower abdomen in your lower stomach is where you feel this pain severe pain and you can also have other symptoms too you can have back pain some women have back pain they feel nauseous they have diarrhea they even have headache so it's no joke but what we need to know and always differentiate is that menstrual cramps or period pains are different from premenstrual syndrome this is pms what is pms pms causes different symptoms like weight gain bloating irritability fatigue and them something that's pms and pms usually starts one or two weeks before your period starts so that's the difference there so now let's jump into what causes painful periods so what causes these painful periods we have two types you have primary dysmenorrhagia and secondary dysmenorrhagia so primary is the most common type and it's it's period pain that is not caused by another condition so if something else caused the pain that is secondary but if it's the period itself that is causing the pain that's primary so we get that we have that down pat all right so when it comes to these menstrual cramp, what happens is you basically, you have too much production of these chemicals called prostaglandin in your uterus. So women who have menstrual cramps have too much or overproduction of prostaglandins and this causes your uterus to uh, tighten. Let me use the word tighten or contract and relax. So every time you contract and relax, at these things cause the cramps right and this can last a day it can come a day or two before your period and it lasts for a few days and even with some women it lasts even longer so secondary now as we say it can be from another cause like you have endometriosis you have fibroids and you're having these cramps those are secondary dysmenorrhagia so what can you do about it? How can you treat your period pains or your period cramps? You can use a heating pad or you have a hot water if you want to get creative. Get a hot water bottle and put it on your lower abdomen. You get some exercise. Exercise is good to help with it as well. You can take a hot bath. Those are known to soothe the area and help with the, the cramps. You can also do relaxation techniques and exercises including yoga and meditation. Those are known to help with the period pain and cramps. All of those don't work. We can jump into over-counter medication like NSAIDs. So when we talk about NSAIDs, we're talking about the mm -hmm. ibuprofen. We're talking about the naprazen. Those things, we're, we're talking about those. These are NSAIDs that helps to reduce the amount of prostaglandin. Remember the chemical that I told you guys about? It helps to reduce those in the uterus. And so it causes a lesser effect and a lesser cramps, all right? So you can take these like... When your symptoms start, you take an NSAID, but you should not take NSAID if you have ulcers, if you have bleeding problems, if you have liver disease, because those can worsen uh, your bleeding problems. So if you're allergic to, to aspirins, you're allergic to NSAIDs, do not take them for your period pain. You have bleeding problem, you have liver problem, you have stomach problem, you have ulcers and them something do not take NSAID because these can worsen the problem. And that's it for today's video on period pains and cramps. Girlfriend or your boyfriend? Your boyfriend. Whenever you see your girlfriend having period pain, guys, it's no joke. It's serious, serious pain. Absolutely serious pain. And this is super hard. So you need to help them. Help them get these stuff. Get those heating pads. Help them get an NSAID. Help them to take a hot bath because... As I said, it's no joke. Alright? 
I'm counting on you guys. So that's it for today's video. Until next time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, dn underscore medical series for more interesting content. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.